Hello, Cali Surfer Guy here again, and this has got to be by far my most favorite map they've made for the movie map pack because I think they did it perfectly. It's a good idea that they did it on Survivor. I realize this now because I've been thinking about it, and like honestly, how the fuck is a freaking Crusher alien going to fit in here? A boiler could totally be in here, but a Crusher, no, not really. That's why they didn't make it in Team Deathmatch. Makes sense. That's why it's a Survivor. But anyway, um... If you, if you notice, this is the table, the infamous table, where the first alien, um, well not the very first alien, but the first alien from Alien, um, Big Chap Alien was born. One of the, like, right here, I want to say. And then these, my friends, if anybody remembers all the fanboys and girls of Aliens, that is the original motion tracker. It wasn't really called a motion tracker, but that's how they caught their motion. Right there with those things. Those little weird ass things. But l look at the amazingness that they've done. They perfectly did it. Here's that area with the suits. More suits. Oh, my favorite area. The part where he like freaking grabs him and blood drips from the ground. Dripping onto him. This kind of sucks for the Marines. Look at this. They have to go under and stand there with the smart gun. That's going to suck. Anyway, but, uh, I love how they added the chains and the raining thing and everything. Oh, my God. They did great with that. And it's perfect. It looks just like it was in the movie. Only thing I haven't... Oh, look at here. That is the, the area. That's the, um... There is where, um... Fuck. The guy was getting... Where he had his, the face hugger on him. And he was getting procedured on. And they tried to take off the face hugger and it almost killed him. I remember that. But, uh, yeah. They did really good with this. Oh, and it's also a very good level for the aliens. It's like, you can go everywhere. Like, you're all, all around and everything. All around. And the other crevices. And, oh, my God. They did a great job with these, these movie packs. These movie map packs is awesome. But, I, like I said, I have to say, by far, this is my favorite map. But, uh, before it stops... Thanks for watching my review on the third map pack, the survivor one on Nostromo. And, you know, rate, comment, subscribe, and like. All that stuff. All that jazz. And, oh look, there's even a vent up here, just like in the movie. Wow, they really don't spare anything. Man, I love Gearbox. I don't care what anybody says. They did a good job with this. They did a really great job with this game, and their DLC is showing it even more. But, um, enough about me having a fangasm over this map pack. Uh, stay tuned for part four, which is my least favorite one, because all it really is is a pack from, like, not the movie, but the campaign. It's for, I think it's Escape or Extermination, I can't remember, I'll tell you when I get to it, but... It's not all that interesting, but I'm reviewing the whole entire map pack, so that's what I'm doing. And then hopefully I'll be reviewing more when they come up. Like, I'm definitely reviewing the campaign one when that comes. I'm excited about that new campaign mission. Hell yeah. Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. Kelly Surfer Guy out.